Hey. Howdy. We should just let the guys from the bathroom review this movie. Yeah, fucking nerds. <laughs> God damn it. We're in the I'm, a, I'm a Star Trek purist, so all of these action scenes really don't sit well with me and Roddenberry's or just fucking <laughs> shut the fuck up. He's had three movies uh, to get used to this. Yes, fucking this is the third fucking movie. The third fucking reboot. You know what the fuck these movies are about. If you don't want to go fucking see them because you're original Star Trek Pierce, get the fuck out of my theater. I enjoy <laughs> these fucking movies. Fuck off. You can enjoy the originals and you can enjoy this. You the, God the damn it, that pisses me the off. The original movie series had a lot of action in it, too. Yes! <laughs> Just because this, oh, it's the television series, which they didn't have big fucking budgets because they didn't do that because they weren't surprised. <sighs> you can that have... pisses me off so bad. Look, the original television series... Did not have a lot of action because they didn't have the fucking budget for it because nobody knew what this was going to be about. They never knew if this thing was going to take off or not, so they didn't throw a lot of money at it. So they had to sit there and make intellectual plot lines because they had no money for action. And if I'm in the mood for that, I'll watch yes. the, the original. I love the original it series. I go, I, I go back and watch it all the time. It but still fucking exists. Yeah. That's the point. Uh -huh. If you want to go watch that shit, go watch it. Nobody's stopping <laughs> you. But don't fit there. Don't pay money to go see this movie that bitch can play because it's not like fucking original Star Trek. <laughs> We've already seen two other fucking movies that are just like this. It's oh, like if I God if I left uh, episode three and went, mm, I don't know about this. Yeah. I, <laughs> I don't know about this Star Trek. Wars thing. It just, I don't know. What the, god damn it. This I thought was a lot better than Into Darkness. I well, actually really kind of love this movie. Yeah, this, this was a lot of fun. Yeah. And, well, that's the thing is, <laughs> Into Darkness, while not necessarily a terrible film, was set the bar lower mm. for these movies. Like, like, I really enjoyed the first one. I did too. And then Into and then, Darkness, I enjoyed... Two thirds of it <laughs> until it started seeming really familiar. <laughs> Into Darkness is kind of represents sort of like a a downside of doing this show because I remember doing the midnight screenings for that, and we really enjoyed like the first two thirds of it, and then it got a little questionable there towards the end, and so we're in the car like. Wanting to like it, like, well, I did. I mean, man, it got kind of weird at the <laughs> you're end. Like, you're like, I really liked like, it, but I liked it better when it was Star Trek yeah. II: Wrath of Khan. And then a week later, <laughs> being like, wow, I really was easy on that movie. That that ending really kind of killed that movie for me. Yeah, I did. <laughs> that that last act. Um, this one, uh, boy, the tr uh, the trailers are really. Like not doing this movie any favors. No, well, and it, it was all of pretty much all of the action scenes. It in made the it trailer. look like a complete, which I I expected this going in because I mean like those trailers made it look like yeah, this is a movie that's from the director of a lot of the Fast and the Furious yeah, movies, yeah. and I didn't think the movie was gonna end up feeling like that. I I I I, I didn't. I mean, it, it, as much as I like some of the Fast and the Furious movies. I don't need that mixed in with my Star Trek. Well, but and I, the thing is, too, is is it wasn't written by any Fast and the Furious. It's written by Simon Pegg. Yeah. And it, it's, here's here's my fucking... Another, you fucking Star Trek... Oh, Star Trek purist fucking nerd. Simon Pegg is a huge fucking fan of uh -huh. the original series. One of the biggest. So fuck off, because he wrote this fucking Oh, he movie. even came out and said, like, that trailer really does not represent yeah, what this movie but is. But that's my thing. Simon Pegg wrote this thing. He loves Star Trek, mm -hmm. and it's in his blood. Mm -hmm. So, get the fuck off. I mean, now, just the, get the fuck off. I I really hope there's not a lot of people who don't go see this because they didn't like the trailers. Like, I, the first trailer, yeah, made it look like some kind of throwaway, you know, like, yeah. summer action movie, whatever. The other trailer was more so... Uh, just advertising that Rihanna song. <laughs> so, honestly, the, I, I, I really hope this movie does well, because it's... I, I'd have to see the first one again for me to really kind of compare it to that, but I'll say it's way better than Into Darkness was. And this, is the, this is easily the best of the three reboot movies. Mm -hmm. Easily. 
It really is. And it was not very crowded in there, which was no. sad. No. But, look, I don't know, maybe the movie will underperform. But it also, it's 10 p.m. and it was a 3D screening, which yeah. tends to be, here, tends to be a little less crowded than... I'd be interested to see what the earlier showing was like. The when I was here... When I was here earlier for Lights Out, um, there were people there. I mean, it wasn't like there was like Force Awakens lines or anything like that. Well, but, yeah, no, nothing's gonna compare Force Awakens yeah, I think, for a while. There's a uh, Force. Awakens. <laughs> you should go see this. It's kind of got Alien Ray in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess it does. She was really good. Um, hey, you know what? Any Star Trek movie that somehow can incorporate public enemies fight the power, mm -hmm. I'm all for, man. That was unexpected and a lot of fun. And, I, and it, cl it classified as classical music, which was great. Because they end up put, they throw yeah. Beastie Boys of Sabotage in again on yeah. this one as a, as a throwback to the first movie. Mm -hmm. And in a fun way. It's not like in a... Not just, like in the trailer where it was like, well, that's there. Yeah. It's like in this, yeah, like there's, there's context. There's a, yeah, there is a there. reason this song is in the movie. Mm -hmm. And it's nice. I mean, I was like, all right, I can, get, I can get behind this. Yeah, this movie really kept surprising me. I mean, it's got all of the... It's got all the great things about it that you could say about most of the Star Trek movies that are really fucking good. In that the cast is great, their chemistry is great, the funny parts in the movie all of them land like they're genuinely yeah. funny anytime carl urban is on screen in this movie it's just fucking magical and then when you pair them like even the, even on the when the tv show did this too when you pair mccoy and spock yeah you're gonna get some fucking good material out of it and urban and zachary quinto are so good in this movie together they have better chemistry than he does with Uhura. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, he's, they're together a lot more in this movie than he and Uhura are, that's for sure. And I like that better in this movie than I did in the previous one. Like, uh, they, they, they got some good laughs out of that. Like, the, the line about, like, um... So you have a tracker on her. Yeah. <laughs> like... <laughs> right. I understand that sounds weird. <laughs> that, that's not that was not my intention. That was not my it's, intention. Basically, it's this. It's a little necklace mm -hmm. that it was his mother's. Well, it emits a certain amount of radiation that's distinct. Mm -hmm. So they use that. And he's at first. He's like, "Wait, you you gave her radioactive Vulcan material?" He's like, "It's not, it's not harmful radiation, but it does emit a distinct signature." He's like, "So you." gave your girlfriend a tracker and they just kind of look at him it's like that that was not my that, intent that wasn't my intent <laughs> i know it sounds weird saying this out loud it does and we can see spock say horse shit <laughs> oh shit i think we've reached our drinking quota we gotta wait a couple minutes oh oops freak the it's fuck really out. hot in here <laughs> it's fucking hot in this car this car didn't have any air in it I'm driving an 85 Camaro. Right. The air is it's, it's questionable. A little, it's a little stuffy out. Uh -huh. um, oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ. But, we were, oh, shit. We were reviewing... Uh, we reviewed Ghostbusters in this car last week. So Shh, that don't, was... No, don't talk about that. <laughs> They're going to freak out. I was sweating bullets in the fucking video. There were a couple of people like, look at him, obviously sweating. He's scared to say oh, he yeah. hates the movie. He, he's paid. He's a paid shill from Sony. Really, you fucking idiots. I am, but oh what does that have God. to do with anything? I, I really, <laughs> really wonder sometimes about the people who watch these videos and their thought process behind this shit. Really? <laughs> Trust me, if he was a paid Sony shill, he wouldn't be driving 85. He'd be driving something nice and brand new because they'd pay me, him a lot more. I would be buying, I would still be driving something that's like 30 years old. It would probably right. just be like a DeLorean or something. <laughs> yeah, it'd be a nice, yeah. it'd, be, it'd be a more up cap. It, is, it would actually have air conditioning. How about that? I love my Camaro, though. It's I'd nice. Still it's have this. It's a bitchy yeah, Camaro. It's a sweet but, ride. But I just, oh my God, I wonder about this shit sometimes between that and the fucking comments you've been getting about the the, the rickhead i'm like <laughs> seriously you watch that video and go no no it's fucking satire <laughs> you may not agree with it but my god the vitriol you got on that video is ridiculous you can't troll the trolls man people get upset 
<laughs> I guess so, man. But Jesus. Oh shit. I have no regrets about anything re related to I, the I, Rickhead. I didn't think you would. None whatsoever. It was fun doing that. Oh man. We cra laughed our asses off doing that, and uh, I <laughs> I did kind of like the. Uh, look, I I just don't get. It. I don't understand the sar. I don't understand if this is sarcastic. I don't understand if there's a. I don't understand if there's a joke here. And I responded and I said. <laughs> So you don't see the sarcasm in a guy named the Rickhead who said who thinks Twitter jail is made up of anal fisting, who tells a story about getting kicked out of a restaurant for saying retarded tickle queer, and then is pulled over by a cop for drunk driving, in which he says to the cop, you can't arrest me because murder exists, and then he's thrown into jail where he's apparently anally fisted. <laughs> Gee, I wonder oh, if that's sarcastic. God, oh my God, did that really happen? R retarded to queer, <laughs> maybe my new favorite phrase of all time. Dave, uh, <laughs> Dave kind of lost his shit a couple times when we were when we were recording that. That sounds like something I would fucking say. Goddamn retarded tickle queer. That was when I was writing that. I think those were just the three first things that came to my head. I'm like, what would be something? <laughs> you say in this restaurant, apparently, that got him kicked out. Star Trek, Beyond the Tickle Queer. <laughs> wow, that's it. Why'd they go? I don't know about that title. It's a good movie. <laughs>every fucking thing. Mm -hmm. One is Lee Pace. The other is Idris Elba. Mm -hmm. Both of those men are magical and I want to stroke them. <laughs> in a non-gay way. But of course... I mean, yeah. No, no. <laughs> Idris, as usual, mm -hmm. knocks it out of the fucking park. The man was born to play just about everything. I'm super excited for Dark Tower. Yeah. That, Hell yeah. All those people bitching, I'm like, no fucking way. <laughs> You guys have Idris fucking Elba as the gunslinger. Yeah. Be Hell fucking yeah. blessed. And what started out, too, as a character in this movie, because when he when it first shows him in this movie, if you didn't know it was him, you wouldn't know it was him. I, oh, no. Um, oh, no. I mean, but, it was, yeah. If you didn't know, yeah, you're right. His yeah. makeup and... He's caked under so much makeup. So the first couple scenes, um, at first I was like, this is feeling a little kind of villain of the weeky a little bit but with Idris Elba behind this part the more the movie goes on the more you learn about this character and his backstory mm -hmm. um it goes in a completely different direction than I thought it would oh, like yeah. I thought it was just gonna stick to okay well I guess he's more or less kind of just apocalypse in space <laughs> but no it no it 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 it, it takes you to some places there with that character. Uh, and even because, of course, the of course the movie ends in a big... It's got a lot of action set pieces in it, and most of them are good. A lot of them I like even way better than in Into Darkness, where in the last act of Into Darkness, it's like, this is feeling a little Attack of the clones -y. I don't know about this. <laughs> yeah. And the... this... Oh, go ahead, sorry. No, I just, yeah. Uh -huh. Now that you... I didn't even think about that, but yeah, when they're doing the fighting on top of the ship, that's very... Yeah, in, I, like, I never hanging. even I never even thought about that, but yeah, that's in this uh, one when it's because yeah, there's there's a big action set piece at the end, and yeah, there's a lot of jumping on things and flying around, but it's it's really cool. They're following this kind of they're jumping off shit and following this kind of gravitational pull of like broken glass and things like that. Like it's it's cool to look at. Like yeah. I imagine watching this in IMAX 3D, it's probably really kick ass and. As we've seen in times before, the Enterprise does get destroyed in this. Uh, but unlike times before, like, this is, like, this goes on quite a while. And you see, like, just people getting sucked out of this ship and flung into space. Like, it's wait, pretty horrific. I, I feel like at this point, I'm, I'm going on a different ship. 
Mm-hmm. And then they fucking enterprise. I don't care if Captain Kirk's the greatest captain of all fucking time. My ass is just as likely to get sucked out in a vacuum of space. I'm like, <laughs> uh, put me on this ship that never fucking goes anywhere because I'm uh-huh. going to get fucking killed if I stay on the crew here. Well, you know, eventually the Enterprise time. will come back. Well, the yeah, Enterprise, minus a few crew members. The, the Enterprise, <laughs> like, just, look, the Enterprise is like Ilsa. Yeah, be, when the sequels come, there'll be minus a few Nazis, <laughs> but Ilsa will be back. She just recruits more Nazis. They're a dime yeah. a dozen. <laughs> That's oh, right. Shit. You it's can find them all at the like Republican Ilsa. National Convention. Ooh, oh, they're gonna be pissed about that one. Um, anyway, but every every one of these movies has you make sure they have a scene of somebody getting sucked out in the vacuum of space. It's, yeah, I'm just like, oh, those poor people. They had families who loved them. Well, maybe we don't know. Like, well, some of them may be pure pricks and like, mm-hmm. bye. There could be like a child molester or two in there. <laughs> we don't know. Chester gets sucked out in the back of the yeah. face. Um, <laughs> well, oh, well, shit. Boy, well, <laughs> and most of the time when Enterprise gets messed up, it's usually destroyed but fixable. Mm-hmm. They, yeah, this whole thing, I mean, they just dismantle yeah. the ship mm-hmm. and it's it, ridiculous yeah. it's fun to watch yeah but it, but it's like damn. Uh, I've never seen it destroyed like this no. before there's some there's some pretty dark <laughs> shit going on here right <laughs> and a lot of the movie is them stranded on this planet and it's cool cause you see Scotty with uh Jayla. Jayla. Thank yeah. Jayla. I, think Jayla. I thought you said J-Lo at first. J-Lo. I'm like, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the person that, was under makeup, that I guess. That song wasn't Jenny from the Block. It was oh, quite the power. God. That is, in 200 <laughs> years, that is not going to be considered a classic. <laughs> the way this country is headed, I don't fucking know sometimes, but <laughs> Fight the Power should always be a classic. Well, but. yeah. Absolutely. Oh, damn. Mm-hmm. Um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got, uh, oh, of course, McCoy and uh, um, Spock together, like it is in the trailer, where uh, it's like, well, at least I'm not alone. And then he beams up. Well, that's just perfect. Like it's uh, even the funny, yeah. the co- the couple funny parts that are in the trailer that are that are in this still get a laugh or two out of me. Cause God damn, I love Carl Urban. <clears throat> oh yeah, Carl. Yeah. So maybe good. I should, maybe should append it to a third. Mm-hmm. Maybe I should add Carl Urban to that list of Lee Pace, mm-hmm. oh, Idris yeah. Elba, and Carl uh-huh. Urban. Yeah, Carl Give Urban that man there. his dread sequel already. God yeah, damn fuck it. yeah. Damn right. <laughs> as long as I use some Carl Urban that's not... <laughs> the Chronicles wall. of Riddick. The, I can deal with that. I can deal with Actually, that. Yeah, Chronicles of um, Riddick, yeah. Compared to The Loft... <laughs> Why would you even mention a loft? The loft. What? Pe- Why would you mention that piece of shit? Oh god <laughs> damn the loft! Like at least Zachary Quinto's bad movie last year was Hitman Agent Forty Seven, which was hilarious. That yeah. was a funny bad movie. Oh man! <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> oh, but I I. Totally recommend this movie. Oh yeah, this was a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, this summer it seems like it's been missing on like that good action set piece movie. What have we had? I mean, I, Captain America. Um, that, that was. I mean, that's. I I don't even know them. I think the Marvel movies are just like the early stuff. You know, it's not. I don't really consider them a true like. They are blockbusters, but they're it's such so early on. It's mm. this, it's so weird. You know, mm. kids are still in school. Yeah, and... they're typically the first week of May. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right around my birthday. It's always fun. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. At least I know I'll see uh-huh. something decent. I think. Yeah. Usually. I got well because my birthday uh, is December twentieth, so it's looking like around my birthday every year will be a new Star, Star Wars, Wars movie. Yeah. We that's... got the Rogue One trailer in front of this. Yeah, that that looks fun. And. Triple X, the return, return of Xander Cage. How about Which, yeah? They pushed to a January. I release. noticed that Poor too. Bastards. <laughs> well, it's not going to have anything to compete against. It might do really That's well. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be all the, uh, the rest will be throwaways. I'm but... I'm sold on Triple X, the return of Xander Cage. <laughs> if they've got to throw in a fucking Ice Cube cameo in there somewhere, 
I f yeah, I feel like that that's mm. a requirement on there. Yeah. What else did we get in front of this? Uh, I don't think anything new, really. What is it, the uh, Keeping Up with the Joneses? Oh, I hadn't seen that trailer. That's, yeah, that was kind of I am leery of any movie that begins with Keeping Up With, Meet the, Did You Hear About? <laughs> but it has John Hamm in it. It does. I'm kind of a John Hamm mark. Um, so I might have to go it, see this just because John Hamm's in it. And is that Galifianakis in it and Isla Fisher? Mm hmm. And was that Gal Gadot? Yeah, Gal Gadot. Uh, oh, yes, Gal Gadot. <laughs> oh, yeah, we forgot to mention Batman v Superman in our talk about action movies. <laughs> that one, that was in March. <laughs> Oh, that was in March. Sorry. <laughs> it feels like it was yesterday I saw that masterpiece. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, maybe we could count the uh, Ultimate Edition as Summer Energy. I don't I know. Haven't I haven't watched seen that yet. it. I did I pick it up. Seen it. I did pick it up. Yeah. So I'm, I haven't watched it because it's three fucking hours and I yeah. really. I'm like, ah. Oh. I gotta set aside gotta time for that. Exactly. I'm like, damn. I'm like, okay, fine. I, I'll get you, but you, you gotta let me. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta block my time anymore. I'm a busy fucking adult sometimes. I have stupid shit to do. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you were walking around the parking lot collecting. God damn, yeah, that's right. Yeah. I got, I got to collect fucking Pokemon. I don't have three yeah. hours to spend all day. Mm -hmm. To watch a movie, no. <laughs> Dave and I have <laughs> talked about setting aside some time to watch that, but again. Three hours, like I, I don't know. We got to yeah. set aside like a whole evening for that because I'm sure we'd talk about it on video afterwards. I don't know if that'll happen. It, it oh, might shit. at some point because I'm sure there's going to be some things about it I like better than the theatrical release. But unless you've fully replaced Eisen Luther, I'm probably still not going to care much for it. <laughs> uh, that would that was definitely an interesting portrayal. Yeah, that was... yeah, that's. <laughs> That's that sounds like what his mother probably told him. Well, that was interesting. You, you, you did all right, son. You did all right. No. Thank uh. you, mom. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, I can't uh, remember what else we got in front of this. Let's see. Yeah, keeping up with the Joneses. Fucking. Uh. Yeah. The only the only trailer in 3D was the Rogue One. So. It was yeah. Mm hmm. Xander yeah, was Cage. Rogue keeping up with the Joneses. Um, I got Suicide Squad in front of. Uh, uh, oh yeah, that's. It lights out. That's only a couple more weeks. Yes. I'm yes. excited for. Yes. Have you seen the trailer yet for? I know Brian and I have talked about this before. Have you seen the trailer yet for Don't Breathe, with a uh, crazy blind Stephen Lang? Yeah, and I, was I did. Like, I was like, what oh, is this? So good. Uh, I'm trying to. <laughs> there was one that I came in on. What movie? Uh. That I. I don't know. What are some uh, some action movies that are coming out? That's probably what I'm was in front of this. Oh, I can't even remember. It's this humidity, man. It makes me like fucking tired. Because I and yeah, as I was walking in, what the fuck was it? I'm sure it was very exciting. <laughs> oh my god, I can't remember what it was. At least it wasn't that monster trucks movie. <laughs> I because it I thought it was something that I just watched the trailer for the other day and I was like oh okay, but yeah fuck. We can't remember. Fuck all. Yeah, I can't remember shit anymore. I hope this uh, I hope this movie does really really well. I want people to go see this movie. Um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. I, I don't want it to underperform and then have them just abandon it and like reboot it again or whatever. I don't know. I want to like what they're doing with like. Which, I mean, this is, it's not like this is a good series anyway, but, uh, fucking, did you hear about, I guess the final Divergent is gonna be made for TV? TV. Oh, that, <laughs> I feel bad for that cast, because it was like, you know, they signed on for all these movies, like, oh yeah, by the way, you're gonna have to do the, the last part of this one, they were gonna, yeah, we're gonna do it on TV. They, you know what, they should fucking, like... They split the queen size into two twin beds. Like, they should fucking sleep in it, the fucking producers yeah. of those movies. You're the ones who decided to chop it in half, which I fucking hate 90% hey, of the time well, they do that. Well, here's the thing, too. They should, like, they should with, eat it and release it With the, the Harry Potter stuff, those books are usually so long and packed with so mm -hmm. much stuff. 
half of the movies before could have probably been two parts. Mm-hmm. Half of these young adult novels are so thin. Mm-hmm. Like the the Twilight. last two, the last mm. uh, well, yeah, Twi- Twilight did not need to be two. <laughs> Lord, did no. not need to be two movies. The, the first end. part was the wedding scene um, from the Deer Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! Um, uh, what was the other? Hunger Games did not need to be no. two two movies. That could have been just fine Honestly. as one, and it would actually it would have been. A, I mean, not that those movies were bad, but if you would have bring it together and make it like a one, two and a half, three mm. hour movie would have been fine. Yeah. And, like, and it would have been coherent and nothing, there wouldn't have been a problem with it. There was no need it's for o- these movies to be, to, to, to these books to be split into two. Yeah. Oh dude, totally. Like it's okay for trilogies to still be a thing. Yeah. Well, and the thing Fuck. is this may kill that trend. With with the Divergent film, Good. not doing this. I mean, it, yeah, I mean, this may kill because they've got those the Maze Runner ones, and they're not splitting that. And one. they're not splitting it up because, yeah. and I think they may that you know what somebody probably was thinking about it. Oh, I'm and then sure. they saw the sales for the first of the mm-hmm. last Divergent movies, and they're like, maybe we just keep it, and as not just is. even Divergent, but just like that trend of filmmaking anyway, the whole YA thing between The Last Divergent not doing very well, between The Fifth Wave not doing very well, right. and whatever other ones Sarah and I had to go see. They all kind of run Vampire together. Vampire Academy, man. That oh, I missed shit. that one. I missed Vampire Academy, but I saw The Host. Fuck. Uh, oh, yeah, I, I missed that one, then, thank God. But You know what's coming out next week? I can't remember. I, I know that... Something that isn't Suicide Squad, so I don't give a fuck. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's see um, what we got going on. I know Dave and I are going to try to see Killing Joke. Um, that would be fun. I, yeah. I got to watch. Because, uh, yeah, because that's the 25th. And I got to I gotta make time to see oh, Ice Age 5. Sometime. Born and Bad oh. Bombs. Oh, right on. So I'll be at Born and next week. that Nerve movie comes out next week, too. It's that's middle that, of the week, though. That, that actually doesn't look that bad. I kind of want to see that. I like Emma Roberts. Oh, fucking shit. Hmm. So nine. I didn't realize Nine Lives was op- opening opposite Suicide Squad. Really. I'm gonna have to think long and hard about which because I <laughs> I want to see them both for totally, totally different, different reasons. reasons. Oh yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> All right. Any final thoughts about? This was a lot of fun. Yeah. And honestly, if you're gonna go see a movie in the theaters right now, this would probably be a good one to see. Um. Yeah, well, I haven't seen Ghostbusters yet. This so is I better than this Ghostbusters. Is, I I assume it probably is a lot better than Ghostbusters. This I'd recommend just going out this weekend and see Ghostbusters. I was like, it's a rental. But yeah, no, this was a lot of fun. Um, you can tell Simon Pegg put a lot of his heart into the movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, the writing is good. Yeah, uh, that's like you were saying with the, the jokes, and I'm the like, the humor is really sharp. In and this it's movie. very, it's very Simon Pegg. Mm-hmm. Um, and. When Simon Pett is on, he's really on it, and he's mm-hmm. on in this one. Um, and it's a really good balance between the the lighter moments and the more action oriented oh, stuff. Yeah, totally. Like it, it, the humor's there when it like, like in the best of Star Trek, the humor's there when it needs to be there, and when it's serious, it's pretty serious. Yeah. And when it's fun and action heavy, it's it's a blast. Like I I, I absolutely recommend this. Um, so. All right, we'll try to see uh, Killing Joke, and I'm sure I'll be at Ice Age 5 at some point, but if not... (laughs) Did that open? No fucking shit. Ice Age 5 open, too. Oh, good God. (laughs) When are they going to stop doing those? I have no idea. Five? The fuck? (laughs) Well, they keep making money, so... I guess the fourth one made money. It must have. Shit. So, well, at this point, <laughs> I assume they're probably pretty cheap to make, and Ray Romano doesn't have anything else better to do, so... (laughs) Yourself a Leguizamo double feature at the Ice Age 5 and the Infiltrator. <laughs> wow. Uh, see ya. Adios.